Let's look at how to configure EIGRP passive interfaces and why we actually need them. So let's jump right into a setup. So I have a sniffer right here. You can see there's nothing in it. And the sniffer is filtering for just EIGRP packets. So that's all I care about, just EIGRP. So at this point, I'm going to connect a line from this switch over here to the sniffer. And the line takes a moment to come up. But once it comes up, you'll start seeing, is there anything coming across that it shouldn't be coming across? So skip ahead a little bit and we can see the sniffer is getting EIGRP packets. Now, some of these EIGRP packets are probably IP version four. Some of them are probably IP version six. Either way, both protocols are configured and it is getting stuff it should not be getting. So how do we stop that? Well, look at this and we can see there are two interfaces leaving this router that we probably don't want anything going down. There's the one going down to the LAN. LAN doesn't need it. And there's the one going out to the internet. The internet ISP doesn't care about it either. And then on router one, which is also connected to his LAN, we need to turn off that one. So we'll start with this first router right here. We will go into my privilege mode and then we will look at my running config. And we can see that there are a bunch of things configured. And in this, we can see there are two different routing protocols. There is the EIGRP 10 for IP version 4, and there's the EIGRP AS10 for IP version 6. So both of these need to have everything set up working correctly. So I will go into the IP version 4 one first. So conf T and do router router EIGRP 10 and then do passive interface and I want 00 and 02 both in there. So G0 slash 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 2. If I jump over to my sniffer at this point and clear all my stuff, you'll see that I should see nothing else coming through. Now I don't want to set my interface connecting to my other router as passive because it will not be able to then exchange information. So that works. Suddenly we are safe from the sniffer seeing things it shouldn't see. And that is all we need to do for this one. So I can just exit out of here, exit out and everything should work. I can show my IP tables right now, show IP route. And I can see this, this little uh, table of routers, routing protocol information still has my learned EIGRP route. All right, now I need to do fire IP version six. So I do conf T and I do IPv6 router EIGRP AS number 10 again. And once again, passive interface G0 slash zero and g0 slash 2 and then we're done and i can exit out and go to my other router this router over here it has the lan that needs to be passivized and that's the g0 slash 1. t so i do ip ipv6 router eigrp 10 passive interface g0 slash 1 and I do that again also with the router EIGRP 10 for IP version 4 passive interface g0 slash 1 and now we should have all of our stuff not going where it shouldn't in addition to these interfaces that are active you might want to also look at the interfaces that are not active so if you have serial interfaces you probably want to make those passive until you decide to activate them and use them just in case so you don't have any problems and that's how you set up passive interfaces